everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in a different location today and I have a very special guest. I'm here with Rosie Huntington-Whiteley, who is actually kind of like an idol of mine in terms of like beauty <laughs> and style and I'm career. Oh, um, oh, thank you. So I'm so glad to have her here on my channel today. We're doing a video that I know you guys love. We're going to do a what's in my bag. I've never actually done a what's in the bag. I so know, this, this is, is so my, exciting. first time I've done a what's in the bag, which I'm very, I am excited about. <laughs> right, so do you want to start? And I will. Show everyone which okay. bag you have. So it's I have. Like this is, I would say, one of my most trusty handbags. It's the Sac so du Jour from Saint Laurent, and I've had it now for a few years. And it's the one bag I go back to time and time again because it's just a classic, Keeper, yeah. and it has. It's perfect for traveling, and it keeps everything neat and tidy. Okay, so the first thing. Hmm. What do you start <laughs> with? I'm going to start with my purse. I also have. I'm keeping it in, in the same family. I That's have. That's what it. I've done as well. Um. Saint Laurent uh, purse, and I love this purse because it it has this chain strap, which is terrific. This chain kind of comes out, so you can have it as a crossbody. So it's a really versatile, definitely an indulgence. Yes, and an investment <laughs> It's like a piece, bag in itself. But it's worth it, as you can wear it so many ways. Okay, so the last few receipts. Ah, Baker Street Dental. Uh, that's not very interesting, I suppose. Oh no, here's here. Oh look, there's a cinema ticket. Oh, what did you say? What did I see last? Oh, I saw this ages ago. It's The Shallows. It was Blake Lively's <gasps> movie, which I really, I really wanted enjoyed. to see that, the shark one. Yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed that. So I wanted to Blake see Lively. that. Oh, another dentist. Can you believe that? I might have a dentist. <laughs> Okay, they're, they're really boring receipts. Sorry about that. This is my new everyday bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And I got this recently and I love it so much because it's kind of like the classic bag. I see so many people with this, but everyone seems to have red inside whenever I see. I've never really seen yeah, anyone pretty. with baby pink inside. And it just fits so much in. It's kind of like never gets classic full. Classic as well. Exactly. Isn't it? So I'll go for my purse as well, which actually matches. And it was intentional. <laughs> I got this like a year and a half ago for my birthday. Um, I love this so much, it has my initials in gold. I've shown this on my channel like a million times. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. My boyfriend got this for oh, me. So he that's has a lovely gift. He has very Good nice boyfriend. taste, I know. So yeah, I just have my bank card, my boots card, and also my driving license, oh. which is a new addition because I only passed this year. So Oh actually your, no, last year. How many times did it take you to pass? No, it was my first time. Oh, and it was my first time and I passed in two months, so really quickly, but I have no confidence on the road. It was it was too quick. I see your receipts. Right, my last few receipts uh petrol boring i filled my car up about four times in six months <laughs> that's how often i use it um, zara home oh yeah i got some amazing cushions and vapiano what's that have you never been no. oh my god it's just oh it's amazing italians in london oh, it's a it's restaurant. Kind of, yeah it's like a in and out kind of restaurant nice. but oh my god they kind of like cook it in front of you and oh delicious i always carry a book in my bag yeah. i just love like I don't know, I just feel like scrolling through my phone, it makes my mind go numb and you can feel like the numbness yes. of your brain and reading a book just like makes me feel good, especially How are you if I have help? a wait. I'm reading The Help. Have you read it? I haven't read it. I've obviously seen the film. The film's incredible. But I bet the book is, I mean, I always feel like books are always better. It's really good. I think like everyone should read this. So, okay, so what else is in here? Oh, I, I'll show you. I have some supplements in here. So I have... Um, some Spartone uh, natural iron supplement, which is really good for me because I feel like girls are always running low mm. on iron and I really need that, especially with my immune system. And then um, I have some Ooh. of um, these probiotics from um, one of my favorite naturopaths that I see in, in London called Dr. Nigma, uh, Dr. Nigma Talib, she's called. And so she has her own probiotic um, supplements which are fantastic oh. so those are the two supplements that yeah. i try and take every single day okay i'm gonna go for my little cosmetics bag that okay. i take out with me i try not to take my full-on makeup bag okay. out with me just because it gets so heavy and i keep i try and like shove everything into here so nail file nail file always useful always useful uh, joe malone hand cream this oh, is the geranium is and walnut oh i haven't smelt this one mm. before i'm a big joe malone fan but let me smell this one i'm not very good with hand cream Oh, that's lovely. Mm, it's fresh. Oh, fresh. Yeah, pink hand gel. <laughs> bought <laughs> it because it's pink. Bought it because it was pink. Um, <laughs> yeah. So then the makeup I take out with me. I take like a little concealer out just because I don't want to carry a foundation bottle. So this one's the Clarins 
instant concealer. I really like this. And then I just take like a makeup sponge, which is really badly need to clean. And then a couple of brushes for the bronzer mm -hmm. and highlighter. So I've got my Zoeva fan brush, which I, nice. I can't live without this. I love this. So good for contouring. My Rosie for Autograph contour brush, Aww. which has honestly been my everyday contour brush since has like, it? yeah, since I got it, which is like, when did they come out? I think I started using it straight That's away, true. like maybe Ma uh, yeah. no, May or something. Yeah. Um, I've been using it literally every day since. Then just a little eyebrow brush, mm -hmm. just in case. Lip liner, and then whatever lipstick I have on for that day. And I thought I would dress for the occasion. Aww. I do actually really love the Rosie for Autograph lipsticks. I love the texture of them. They're super creamy and so like easy and comfortable to wear. And they're they, quite hydrating, aren't they? They've got argan oil in them, right. which is really important. I, I get quite dry lips. Me too. So it's really important when I was creating the lipsticks that I wanted them to be ultra hydrating. Which ones have you got there? So I've got a mixture on my lips. I okay. can never just decide on one lipstick. Yeah, I like always <laughs> mix two. There's just too much choice. I just can't commit to one. <laughs> so I've got Rose. Uh, rose lace, mm -hmm. and then I topped up with nude blush. Lovely. Well, they look terrific on you. Oh, I love them so much. Um, What's that? Spare hair bubble. Oh, I've not seen these. I have seen oh, people yeah. wearing these. These I've are never so much used better. One I really want. I've Every time I see them, I keep thinking, I must get one of these. Right? Once you start wearing them, you won't go back. They're so much better than like typical because they hair don't bubbles. Your hair. Yeah, and then finally. You have a little lip gloss each. I love this so much. This is got? bikini coral. Bikini coral, yeah. And Oh my God, I can't explain. Like when you just need something on your lips, like you don't want like a full on lipstick. Mm -hmm. You just need a pop of color or a bit of sheen or even just a bit of like moisture. They're just perfect because they just put a really thin layer of color on your lips. So I'm going to show you guys into my makeup bag now. Obviously it's very, very photograph heavy because I really wear my products, but I do have some of my other staple favorites. Um, first, I'm going to start off with um, my Sheer Finish Complexion Enhancer, which is the I've new product before. that we're launching. Um, and I obviously have one of the first prototypes here. This is a really dewy, lightweight, tinted moisturizer, and it's coming in six shades. I don't know if um, you know much about what was in mind when I was creating the Rose Photograph makeup line, but it was all about girls that are on the go, women that are on the go that want to still feel polished and elegant. One of the other new products that we're launching with is um, the lip liner. So we have lip liner in, in, or lip liners coming in six new colours. Lip liners so for me is like an absolute makeup staple. Me too. Um, every, I mean, like like we just spoke about, I get quite dry lips, mm. and so one of my favourite lip balms is like this by Terry um, Balm de Rose. I've heard so many girly. good things about it's this. <laughs> and um, so I will always have a little bit of lip balm on, and then just enhance my lip, mm. my lip shape or my lip, you know, my lips with a bit of lip liner. I'm a brow fanatic, so I have my Anastasia. Um, eyebrow gel and this is the best one I've found on the market because it kind of just really sticks them down and then I have um, my Troy Surratt um, eyebrow pencil which I really um, which I really love so one of the other things that I carry in my makeup bag with me is my Rosie Photograph makeup palette which we launched just before Christmas and I love this because it kind of has everything on the go we have a bronzer a cream blush the highlighter I love the highlighter and then we have six of my um, eyeshadows so that's really great for kind of throwing in your makeup bag and I, so I always have that with me dry shampoo can't go anywhere without it I'm such a Anti dry shampoo. You are? <laughs> yeah, I just. Try, try, try What's this, this one. Moroccan it's oil. Moroccan oil one, and it's really light. I think I've and, seen this um, in your Snapchat. <laughs> I know, it's for, and this one's for light tones, so it'd be really good okay, for you. Okay, yeah. But I, 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 I really like this one because I agree, some of them can be really powdery and yeah. heavy, and yeah. I, you know, you've got lovely shiny hair, so you don't want to take away from that. One of my favorite all time. Concealers, uh, concealer. along with my along with my one, I have my one obviously, which I'm a really big fan of. But it's a so, it's a solid one, and I use it right out of the bullet. But one of my other favourite ones is this Nars one, and it's called the uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer, and it's really brilliant because if you can actually just get away with just using a little bit of this, mm. you don't have to use foundation. So really good for being on the go. I always carry with me perfume in my handbag. So obviously my rose water <laughs> perfume comes with me everywhere. And then I have in here today one of my new lipsticks called Rosy Lips. 
So this is one of three colours that we're launching um, for spring this year. Um, we're launching three really bold colours, actually, which I thought would be fun for summer, spring, yeah. summer. And the line the one, is quite neutral already. The line is very neutral mm. and natural, and I think that the colours that exist already, I really wanted to sort of launch the kind of 12 beautiful, really natural, yeah. classic colours. And so these ones are kind of adding in a bit of pop and a bit of colour. And so this cool. one's rosy lips, is what I have on today. And I just have, I just put it on today very light and sustained it off. Mints, I always <laughs> keep with me. I, I regard to keep mints in a handbag. Um, you never know who you're going to be kissing. Amazing radiance cream. And my amazing radiance cream. <laughs> I love this. My amazing radiance cream, which is now sort of like got its own family with yeah. the um, with the dewy uh, lightweight um, tinted moisturizer, and so I'll wear a little bit of this on top of my after I've done my skincare routine in the morning, and then I'll apply a little bit of this like a primer, and then straight on with a tinted moisturizer afterwards. If you, if you, you've I used use it this it. morning. Okay, good. Good, good, <laughs> it's good. kind of like one of my everyday primers, and also if I'm having like a no makeup day, I like to just dab a little yeah. bit as a highlighter as well. Yes. I love it. Too. I'm a big Not fan. That I have many no makeup days anymore. <laughs> um, next, I guess I'll show my water bottle. This is by BKR. I actually got sent this, um, and I read that it's like a lot more hygienic to drink water out mm -hmm. of a, like a glass bottle rather than plastic. And I do try and drink like a lot of water mm -hmm. every day, two liters or more if I can. It's Good for your skin. Skin's so pretty. A Saxuma. <laughs> Don't have mint of those. I try and keep a nice pen with me. So that's in here always. And I have a little thank you card from my sister. I always like to keep something kind of personal that's in there, you know, something that's really nice. Oh, these. Okay, if you haven't if you haven't used these or the red, there's a game changer. I'm personally not a big fan Ooh. of makeup remover wipes. Never. I think they should only be used in like really on the go situations. Um, but I discovered this I think it's Japanese line called Kogendo, and um, they're basically cleansing water cloths. That's what they that's what they call them, and they are the most hydrating, gentle makeup wow. remover wipes I've ever used. And so when I'm kind of traveling or I'm on the go, and especially yeah. when I'm on the plane or flying, it's like off, wipes I'd rather flying. use these on the plane than the water <laughs> from the sink. So yes. those are, are really. Um, those are my favourites, so I always keep them in my handbag. Clips, Clips. Yeah, I, I have that. nail file, I have sunglasses. I can never go anywhere without sunglasses. From Celine, what do you think? Amazing, I love them. I have a deck here that um, my photographer for Rose Photograph sent me, Guy Arosh, for an upcoming project they were working on. Keys are attached, just have some nice tassels, and it's probably like the techiest thing that I own, but it is a Disney <laughs> princess key. Um, I also keep a little notebook, just in case I need mm -hmm. to jot anything down. I much prefer doing it on paper than in my phone. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, I just feel like I take a lot more notice of it. Mm -hmm. And this is just really cute, like rose gold and marble. A hairbrush, because my hair gets so knotty, it's obviously long, and I just can't, I'd rather take a hairbrush out than makeup. Chewing gum, Good. which counts as mint. Counts as mint. Um, but these yeah. are the um, extra white bubble mint and I've literally, mm -hmm. I just prefer these because mint always makes me sneeze. Um, I'm quite sensitive to mint. So I have my car keys as well, which is another new addition. Oh, so you got a mini? Yeah. What colour is it? Cream. Uh, <laughs> I, I love a mini. I, I love to well. drive in a mini. They're, they're really? Cars, yeah. Also, oh God, this is my holy grail mm -hmm. product in the world. My Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, which I've talked about a zillion billion times, but I just love this so much. I I've, first discovered it very early on in my modelling career and I remember set, sitting in a casting and I must have been, I don't know, 16, 17 at the time. And uh, all the models were using it and they were passing it around in <laughs> the casting. And I thought, oh wow, so I've got to get I that. I want that. So. Oh, and here's my pen. You said you always carry a nice yeah, pen. Yeah, which one do you carry? I'm the same. It's the prettiest thing Obviously. ever, right? <laughs> Where's that from? That's pretty Swarovski. Yeah. Gorgeous. Very snazzy. And then finally, just my travel card holder. And this is really cute. This is like a baby pink faux leather and it says, the world is your oyster. Which I thought was really cute. Oh, good for your oyster. Exactly. Part. There's like bits of chewing gum stuck to the bottom <laughs> of the bag. Oh. Right in the corner. <gasps> I have my I have Tangle Teaser hairbrush, mm. which I swear by. And this is, these are really great. This is one of the mini ones and it's it's just really good. It's got my hair stuck in. Really great for throwing in your bag. So that's everything in our handbags. You've kind of had like an insight into our souls, well. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank being on you, my Freddie. channel. I shall see you next Monday in my next video. Bye. Bye.